Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Fallout 4, and Kate, shut up. You're ruining my video. Um, we're back at base. There's some stuff we gotta go over. First of all, I got a blank power armor here. Um, it was over there. I had one piece of power armor, so I just took it off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the Tesla power armor, uh, and I figured out that this is all the Tesla armor there is, I think, is the arm, uh, in the why did it it didn't put what I wanted on it why did it do that there we go there we go so there is let me turn my flashlight on so there is the Tesla armor we are going to be using the Tesla armor um, we're gonna give it a go but for now real quick let's go ahead and okay this t45 can get out of here let me put this mark 3 x01 armor on this thing Okay, so there's an X01 armor. All oh, there's my extra X01 armor set. I'll go ahead and probably move it over here, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna waste your guys' time in this video. I just need to make it over to the storage container. Come on, come on. There we go. See, I have a bunch of like leftover, uh, extra power armor here. So like this T45 and this T51, all this T60. That stuff can go in there. So what I wanted to do here though is we're missing legs and a helmet so let's go ahead and take the the legs off of this x01 and see what it looks like if i put it on to this if the x01 looks good at all with it um, okay not not bad i think i'll we'll roll with that i hate the chest piece on the basic t60 armor it looks so basic and it looks so stupid but I think that'll work. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and craft on these and see what we can do. So it's at Model A. Obviously, we want to go all the way down to Model F. So let's go ahead and get the Model Fs for all of these, first of all. Because that is obviously the best. It's got T60F armor now. Okay, so now let's start off with the torso and see what mods we can get. We can paint it up. I think I might go with the shark. I don't know why I like the shark. Yeah, we're gonna go with the shark. Even though the it gives me no like oh increased agility. But there are much better options. Like Titan like titanium plating. Or the Brotherhood of Steel, but I'm gonna go with the shark because I like the shark painting. Okay, so mods. We got this, we got enter emergency protocols, Tesla coils. We gotta go Tesla coils. I think that's that that makes the most sense with this armor. Okay, so we're gonna go Tesla coil coiled shark Tesla T sixty F. Wow, that's a that's a name right there. Uh, material mods. Let's go ahead and put the shark on there. Reduced action points for power attacks. Cause bleeding. Adds energy damage to unarmed attacks. Is that like punching? I don't know, but we're going to go with the Tesla Bracers on both of them. Because I think that's the best bet. And get my shark armor. Okay. So let's go ahead and back out of that. Now, there is a couple new weapons that we got. We got this Assaultron Blade. Which is pretty sweet. You can make it electrified. That's the only mod that it looks like you're allowed to do is electrify. I'm not going to do it because I'm not going to use it. But there is an option for that weapon. The, we also got Mr. Handy's Buzzsaw. I won't be using this as well, but you can electrify it too. What I do want to use is this. The Tesla Rifle. Fires an electrical ch discharge that arcs between targets. So guess we could put a reflex sight on it. I don't really think I need to, but we could. So, that's like a sniper barrel that you charge. This is a shotgun barrel. Automatic is what I'm going to put on it, but this releases like a trap similar to, I guess, like the Hive in Call of Duty. Um, I'm trying to think of stuff that drops traps in games that you shoot. That's like the most... Oh, like in Bioshock when you throw those electric... Um, uh, traps onto the ground, but we're gonna go with the automatic barrel. Pretty sure that's the best option. I think I just want to roll 
with the with the regular sites, but hold on, I gotta go store. Where did I decide? Where was my garbage? That was it. Out, it was out here. Okay, because I don't need like half of this stuff that I picked up. Like the missile launcher. Actually, I do need all of that. Okay, I was wrong. That's all just a bunch of mods. Alright, let's go let's go upstairs. Uh starting this episode off a little bit slower with what we're doing here, but did find a bunch of unique weapons and stuff, so I thought I'd show it. Let's go ahead and equip this. I like the regular sights on it. But this thing looks awesome. I kinda wish there was a little bit more modding on it that you could do, but I'll take any mods whatsoever, I guess. So we need to go up to the top floor because I need to store. <sighs> thought I had a. Where was I store? Oh, I I was just uh, storing it all in here. Okay. Let's see here. So that means I can store all these mods in there. Oh, uh, now I can store all of this stuff. Is that all of my extra stuff? I guess it is. Stay away from the plane wreckage. Unless you feel like soaking a ton of rads. Alright, so I should have picked up another weapon that I missed. So I guess we're gonna go back. It's the Assaultrod Head. Um, and you use it as a weapon. And you should pick it up. Did I transfer anything to Ada? Where the heck is Ada? Hey. Oh, I did transfer it to Ada, I think. Maybe. No, I didn't. I missed it somehow. Okay, well, things just got interesting, because I missed... Okay, so we're going to have to go back there. We'll go back there and check that out before we, uh... Before we do anything. But I forgot I gave Ada a bunch of crap, so we got to go back up here. Also, we did just... We got a new set of armor, I guess I'll show you guys. Let me go in a third person and put the gun away. I need some lighting. Okay, we'll do it with the puppy in the background. Okay, um, apparel, the robot armor. And it doesn't come with a helmet, so I'll just put on the sentry bot helmet. I didn't even get the full set, did I? No, I didn't even get the full set. We got left arm, right arm, left leg, and chest piece. We're missing a leg. Huh, that's, a, that's not a bad looking armor on a female if I had the other leg. And you could put some pants on with it. That's not a bad armor. Actually isn't a bad looking armor. I need like a new chest for like DLC stuff. Is this empty? Yeah, this is empty. Let me just do this for my DLC stuff. Uh, Mr. Handy. The robot stuff. I'm just going to throw the sunglasses in there just to get them out of my... Okay, and then this should be, yeah, this is my armor. This should be explosives. Okay, oh, wait, 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 there it is. Salvaged Assault Trot Head. Did, how did I miss that? Wait, how on earth did I miss that? Hold on, we will take a, a peek at that, and we'll also go, we'll go um, see what mods we can put on it. How did I miss that? Either I took it from her, or I am just the most, I'm just the blindest retard on the planet. I can't believe I was that blind if that's really what just happened. But this gun looks pretty sweet. We'll be using it as well. Let me go ahead and hotkey these items. So get rid of the spray. Oops. The spray and pray. Salvage Assault Tron Head can go over there. And this can go up there. I might as well just store the rest of my weapons in my... I need like a special... We'll just put them in here with the DLC stuff. I'll know they're here. No, I done goofed. Give me my alien blaster back. Okay, so only gonna be using these. But here, let me take out the assault run head. You can see right here. Wait. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So you, it charges up kind of and then you fire it. Wow, it does radiation damage to you. I did not know that. Hold on, let me go take a look at this when you fire it outside. 
Let's shoot the basketball hoop. This thing does a ton of radiation damage. This thing might not be worth it. Alright, let's take... Oh, you can't even mod it at all. So... Well, that makes this interesting. We will take this bad boy out for a, for the for a run. We'll see what how it does. I'm gonna run upstairs That's real nice. quick. Let me hop into my. Oh, you know what? The one thing about this is, is that I no longer will have my jetpack. I've got this Tesla crap on my back. I'm gonna miss that jetpack. I think I have a XO1 head somewhere around here. Yeah, here it is. Just the solo XO1 head. Oh no, wait, this is a partially done X01 armor. Oh, okay. Alright, let's go upset it. I want if I'm gonna be using the Assault Tron head at all, I'm going to need I'm gonna need some rat away. So I hope you guys didn't mind the beginning of this episode. I thought I'd try to show all this stuff here at the beginning. We're not gonna do anything messing around with robots yet, uh, because I'm still we're still trying to get all of the different stuff together. Uh, all the different... Do I have any Rataways up here? Please tell me I have Rataway storage. Oh my gosh, yes I do! Holy crap! Uh, 35 of those? How many does that bring me up to? 66. Okay, I can store that. I can store that. Okay. Alright, we can finally head out on a mission and give this bad boy a test. Oh, this thing is gonna be sweet. I have no idea how much damage this is. Oh, wait, hold on. I think this is... A, we actually are supposed to come here. I gotta get out of my power armor. So, the, with the Tesla armor, before I am done talking about this for probably ever, the all these Tesla things around it, they increased your, your um, electricity damage or your electrical damage. That is why it's so good with the Tesla weapon. So, we'll see how how much damage it does but do i need to i need to get a body right so i need to go with jezebel's head okay so there's jezebel's head in there i don't know if i lose this so i'm not going to do anything else to mod it if i can have jezebel as a if jezebel's gonna chill and hang out then i'll definitely edit her body and all that but i don't know so we're not gonna do that yet. Interesting. This body you've selected for me isn't quite what I had envisioned, but it will have to suffice. I'm sorry you feel that way. It's the best I could do. Yes. Well, it's certainly better than being stuck to a machine surrounded by rust devils poking and prodding me for their amusement. Look, it's obvious we don't care for each other's company, which suits me just fine. So, why don't you ask me everything you wanted to know? And then I'll be on my way. Tell me everything you know about the Mechanist. Now there's a fascinating subject. The Mechanist. Amazingly adept at programming. A veritable genius with electronics. I'm not surprised you're interested. I've been dutifully carrying out the Mechanist's instructions to help the people of the Commonwealth for quite a long time. Helping the people of the Commonwealth? You? Absolutely. It's my primary directive. The Mechanist instructed me to seek out and help the people of the Commonwealth. By my calculations, the easiest way to help a human is simply to destroy it. There's no point in prolonging a laughably fragile life. It's the most efficient way to assist them. Any other effort to help tends to result in numerous complex side effects. The Mechanist gave you these instructions to kill people? Well, not exactly. The specific instruction was to help people. I merely interpreted the most efficient way to perform my duties. Assisting a human to the best of my abilities only affords a 25% survival rate. That means there's a 75% chance that despite my efforts, the human I'm assisting will die from something beyond my control. Therefore, it's better to hasten the human's death and put them out of their likely chance of misery than to deplete my limited time. It's actually quite elementary, but given your minimal intellect, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised you don't understand. Well, I get it. I, I, I get the conclusion that the robot came to, but it still 
pretty stupid. But if you ran it through an algorithm in a computer, probably is the best option to help. Like if you, if you in the com in this game, not in like real life, but in this game, if you ran the algorithm through a computer, I'm pretty sure it would be the best option. Would be just to kill them. You can believe whatever you want. Just tell me how to access the mechanist facility like you promised. Certainly. It's rather simple, really. In order to gain entry to the mechanist facility, you're going to need to outfit one of your robots with an MSAT modification. I'll upload the plans to your Pip Boy device. There. I've fulfilled my portion of our agreement. Perhaps I'll remain here for a while and see how things resolve between yourself and the mechanist. Purely for my own amusement, of course. I suspect you'll have quite a tale to tell once you return, but then again, I'd be surprised if you ever return at all. Oh, ye of little faith, Jezebel. I want Jezebel to stay because she's got a cool looking head, so I think it'd be awesome to make a robot with her head. Uh, that's really about it. Let me, let me see here, did it change its, yeah, it changed its name to Jezebel, so hopefully... Jezebel will stay. Also, where the hell is Codsworth? I suspect a fair number were lost here. Shall I accompany you? See, my it. Why won't it let me? Why won't it let me edit Codsworth? Shall I accompany you? Um. Would you like to? As you wish, Mum. No, not now. All right then. Why is he? He's like just outside of my settlement here. It's like he got spawned in, kind of like outside, because you can't it. You can't edit him, and um, I'm gonna turn Kiri into a synth. I still need to do that. But where the heck is Ada? Oh, she's down. Alright. I got out of my... Hold on. Hold on. What am I... What am I doing? I gotta go get my power armor. Because we're gonna test out... So it looks like maybe we're going to the Mechanist base already, which means this... This Let's Play may be almost over, which is kind of sad. Um... But I will be doing, like, a base building episode, building, like, a... A robot heaven base um probably at the drive-in or at the red rocket truck stop i've got some ideas of some things i can do ada where the heck are you oh my gosh i always forget how to get around my house i wish lighting was better in this game like this just looks horrible like it's really hard to light crap up in this game like, why, why do I have to have this big patch of dark everywhere? It's, it's really rough trying to light stuff. Ada, where are you? Hey, I'd be happy to help. I trust you've completed your business with Jezebel. I hope she wasn't too difficult. I I got what we needed. Good. What did she say we need to access the mechanist facility? I need to outfit a robot with something called an MSAT. Jezebel gave me the plans. A custom modification that acts as a key to the Mechanist facility. Very smart. In fact, chances are high the MSAT may be required for multiple access points, like a robot identification card. As for my task, I was able to decrypt the signal with the final radar beacon. The source is coming from a Robco Sales and Service Center, most likely a front for a larger operation. It's time to take the offensive. Have you formulated a plan? I'm not sure. I'll improvise when I get there. Yes, the actual confrontation will allow you to make a more educated decision. Now, if you're ready, I believe you have an MSAT to install. I always have time for me, buddies. Okay, so I need to install the MSAT onto Ada. I could install it onto, like, Kiri or Codsworth or Jezebel, probably. I probably could take Jezebel, but... We're taking Ada. She's kind of the the cool part. She's kind of like, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Kind of like a special part of this DLC. Uh, so we'll. She's like the special DLC companion. There we go. Oh my gosh, I gotta keep getting in and out of my power armor. Why can't I use the computer? 
Okay, Ada. So, M set. She has the Assault Tron. What is... That Protectron looks crazy. Robo Brain. that's... Okay, that's, uh, what's... Assault Tron Head Laser. I think we're gonna put this on her. Adds Head Laser Attack, Short Engagement, Distance, Poor Accuracy. Oh. Yeah, we want the Head Laser, I think. Actually, I don't think it really matters. But I, but I like the Head Laser, how it looks, so we're gonna do that. Hydraulic Frame improves damage and energy resistance. Yeah, we're gonna stick with what we got, I think. Alright. Access the Mechanist Lair. Alright, back into our power armor we go. Alright, let's rock and roll. Where is this place? Oh, it's right here. Wow! We are so close to this, that's hilarious. My base is like right next. That's that's funny. My base is right next to the mechanist base. Let me heal. Did not heal. I oh my rads. I just wasted. Oh, it's good. I have a bunch of stem packs. All right, where is this area? There's Ada. She actually jumped down. I think. All right, here we go. We're already here. Let's do this. In between episodes, I'll go and buy some more power armor frames. And so I can edit my base and make it uh, have more power armors because I did pick up... I have a bunch of power armors in those chests, so I should probably go buy power armor. And I'll move my XL1 power armors so they can be right next to each other, since they are kind of the rare power armors right now. Those in the, uh, that one power armor that, is it Hydro Nucleic or something like that? I forget what it is. But it, it's the one that's just the chest piece, there's like nothing else to it. I want a complete set of special power armor. Legendary power armor. I want a, one, I want a full special set. Like, I wanted a full Tesla set with, like, an awesome helmet. But alas, we didn't get it. Alright. Turn my light on. Let's do this. Where... Where are we going? What the... What the hell... I wanted to try this out. I need some enemies. Uh, this is an exit. I suggest we take as much as we can carry. You read my mind, Ada. You read my mind. Anything that has to do with like electronics and stuff like that, I'm taking because I want to do like a big. A, like a big episode of like different use this like a different ro a big robot base kind of but i can't do that if i don't have the supplies this thing's iron oh, these this thing's sights are so crazy it's huge the gun takes up like a fourth of the screen when you zoom in Stop the Mechanist. Okay, I guess we are pretty much at the end of this DLC. Semi-disappointing, but... There's someone on, like, the crappy... Biggest piece of crap motorcycle I've seen in my entire life. What kind of... What the heck is that? It's not like a scooter, it's like a motorcycle. But it, But it's like... It, it's weird like a scooter but it's definitely a motorcycle okay that is gonna <laughs> it's gonna do it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed um didn't do a whole lot but we took a look at some of the the weapon mods and the armor mods as well as uh talked to jezebel and ada and we are at the mechanist layer 
hopefully we can complete it in the next episode. Um, that'd be kind of nice if we could do that. And then we can do a little bit of a free build type couple of episodes probably to wrap up this DLC. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.